Thanks very much, Sophia. As James Gorman makes his way to the ring, the man from Belfast, Northern Ireland, eight victories, three by knockout, 21 defeats low on his card. 36 years of age. Six rounds of super lightweight boxing. Coming your way. Philip Bowes, Quicksilver. Two defeats, but 12 victories, two by knockout. Last loss came in May 2015 here against Johnny Coyle for the vacant Southern Area Lightweight title. But everybody will be predicting that Quicksilver, as everybody calls him, is going to be too much for James, James E. Gorman. 36 year old Gorman who had eight years out of the sport before returning this year. He's lost all nine of his fights so far this year. Daryl, the question is, will Quicksilver get this done quick as a flash? Well, uh, I'm not quite sure, you know. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of the time, people that are really quick, they don't really have the power. So I don't know if he will actually knock this one out. But uh, all, all power to him. I hope, I hope he does. I hope he does get it over and done with it. It will be good for him you know, to get that on his record and have a knockout. Company by Ashley Field Fame to the ring. That's got to be a boost within itself, you know. Obviously, he just lost to Adrian Broner, but. Those that are still here are uh, firmly in Philip Bowes' corner. Won his first nine fights of his career before the two title match losses. And he is eyeing up the Southern Area title, wants to put himself in mandatory position according to the fighter himself. We'll see how quickly Quicksilver gets to work it. One, two. Running with that left after leading with the right jab and again goes for it. And again, the right finding a way through. It's a very fast start. Very fast start. Seems to really be uh, setting the tone here now. He said. Not paid for the overtime. He wants to get this job done quickly. Quick run into the body. Right hand. Moving as fast as anything that we've seen so far this evening. And the left just coming out of nowhere. Quick one, two, the combinations short and sweet. The right hand gets over as Gorman tries to retaliate inside. Extremely sharp jab. Can't miss with it. Again, the one-two combination. Just wonder if it goes one, two, three. How effective that third shot could be, because he's landing the first two quite neatly. Gorman already looking like he's taken a fair bit of punishment. Yeah. I, uh, 
Left, left eye very swollen, looks from here. And that's all pretty much because of that right hand. And then the left comes once again. And he's making this look easy at the moment. The bright yellow trunks and boots of Philip Quicksilver Bows. Almost flashing like lightning along with the gloves that just keep flicking out penetrative shots and catching James Gorman clean and true. Set out, round two. And we expect more of the same then from Quicksilver. Keeping that right arm extended, keeping Gorman away as he tries to come back with a bit more, but legs went he's then. punished for it. Put him high on the, on the side of the head, his legs went then. And Gorman taking plenty of shots around the body and the head now. Bit of respite for the man from Belfast. Another heavy blow. Oh, and Gorman tripped up. Just on the advertising around the ring there. Certainly not a knockdown. Doesn't help the legs though. Doesn't help the tired breath perhaps in his body. Once you touch the floor like that, you go into oxygen depth. And you see uh, when, when you get back up quickly and you've got to get round again, you, you, you definitely lost some some energy. Heavy left coming round. Using the jab to keep the distance. There's no way around for Gorman at the moment. If he's going to get anything, he's got to come with the right. There's nothing coming from the left for Gorman. And that will perhaps leave him too exposed coming inside. It's those hefty left hooks and shots that we've seen from Philip Bowes so far. While it's like this, it's just constant and draining punishment. He's just, just under completely a minute. dictating this fight, you know. Another good flurry, one, two, three. <laughs> Able to get himself out of the corner by scrapping slightly Gorman. Bose does have an amazing speed. He's very accurate with his punches too. It's almost not allowing that left arm of Gorman to get any extension at all. Every time it starts to come out. Yeah, he, he starts pouring with, with, with his hand and just, just counteracts him. Keeping him away, keeping him at bay. Keeping himself firmly in front. seconds. Second out, round three. Round three. Didn't perhaps face the same barrage at times, Gorman, in that second round, but it's the same as it was in the first, and it continues here in the third. Just trying to claw that left jab back into play, but it's still not getting any bite at all.
I suppose, Daryl, the main question is, do you just try and keep this up again? If you're not really taking any shots, you know you're being convincing enough. There's no need to, again, go for an early stoppage. Instead, just keep controlling the fight. Or do you let that confidence start to brew and think you can maybe take a couple of risks and finish in some style? I don't, I don't think that um, Bose here isn't looking for a knockout. I think, I think he, he is trying to go for it, but, you know, he doesn't, by looking at his record, he doesn't seem like he's an actual puncher. So, although he's hitting and he's catching guys with these punches, it's, it's, he hasn't got the punch power to really take them out. You know, so you probably if you're looking if you're looking at um, a, a stoppage, it would probably be due to someone taking too many hits. You know, but then again, I might be wrong because he looks like he's uh, <laughs> he, he's doing something here. It's been encouraged, that's for sure, to keep working away. Good shots. Down the left and right, the mid drift, and again a couple of blows. Gorman comes back out, though, able to withstand them and take the barrage once more. Not quite finding the same penetration just there. That right jab as he did early on, using it as a distraction this time though. Now that one gets through. And the shoelace is just slightly undone there on Philip Bose. Only a few seconds remaining though in the round anyway. And in fact, there is almost no time left in the round, but another confident performance as Gorman. Second out, round four. Once again, finding good reach with the right hand. Again, able to follow up with the left. Definitely, everything just coming off that jab. You know, going back to even the Tommy Tear fight, same sort of thing, you know. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's exactly what it is. Quicksilver isn't changing anything. Norman, just getting a little bit of leverage there with the left foot. more than flashing at air at the moment for James Jamesy e. Gorman. And instead he keeps walking onto the odd shot. Looking low once more but the arms just protecting the gut of Gorman. Getting a little more robust, I think, Gorman. And when he does try and throw a few punches, it's a little more aggressive. He knows he's got to up it slightly, but there's opportunities to do so. It's still too few and far between. Yeah, I think he, I think now he, he, everything he throws, he's trying to make it a, a, a painful shot now. Uh, and, um, you know, Bose is just not letting him get any sort of range, really any sort of, not letting him get comfortable, you know, he, he's not allowing him to, to sit down on any of his punches. The feet speed, the head speed of Bose as well. When anything does come flying out from Gorman and meets the initial defence of that left paw that seems to be keeping, so I say the right paw that keeps Gorman's left at bay. 
He's able to escape, evade. Not really get hit at all. A seat again there, just ducking underneath, quick as a flash. Saw that right hand coming. Quick five punch combo, a left round the side of the head. Connects as well. Ducking underneath, duking and jiving and weaving. I think you can see that he is one of those fighters that does just flow around the ring. We spoke about the kind of punchiness of the really muscular fighters that you see. Well, this man has got plenty of the definition, but also the flow and speed and smooth style, and he's showing it right now. It's not, it's not just the hand as well, as well that, that is quick. He's quick on his feet, in and out. You know, everything he does is, is, is at, epic, at, at an explosive pace. I, I don't think Roman a lot of the time can see his punches coming. It's pretty difficult to hit such a moving target like that as Gorman lunges in. He's not giving up the aggression, but he's never really had a chance to start and get going, Gorman. Again, it's another fighter, Philip Bowes, who at this point in the fight, you just get the feeling he's trying to show that he is perhaps now moving above this level. And he's ready for something else. Another quick flurry down to the body. Well guarded, though, by Gorman. Shot inside to the body and then able to duck away from that left hook coming round the corner. It's almost like he knows the shots that Gorman's going to throw before they even come. And the speed he can move at. I'm sure Bowles hasn't taken a clean shot in, in, in this fight so far. You know, wicked shot there. See more into the chest than into the gut, but again, Gorman just slightly rattled. Clinging on. In the corner just to try to slow down the shots. Three in quick succession, landing cleanly. He's keeping up this pace and he, he, he's not he's, he's not breathing. He's not. It doesn't look like it's even affected him in any sort of way. You know, it must be really, really fit. Round five is done. It's almost like he doesn't even need the chair as he <laughs> takes a seat back in the corner. Again, barely breaking a sweat. Gorman not using the chair. Trying to get the life back into the legs slightly, I think. Took a couple of big blows there. Come on, Bill. So we get ready for round six. And I think those that are still here watching Philip Bowes want to see the finale finish to this fight. It's been a superb night of British boxing, oh, that's for sure. Seconds. Deserving, do you think, to be a contender? 
dispose of a yeah. southern area title shot. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think he, I think he's ready for that level there. I, I, I no doubt about it. You know, you, you can definitely see see here that he, he, he's higher than this level. You know, this guy has literally not landed a punch. You don't want to say walk in the park to put down James Gorman at all. No. Takes a lot of heart to come out here. No, it, 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 it's, to do the job. It's, it's never a walk in the park, you know. It, 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 it's, it's, there's always some aspect of difficulty in any fight. But he's just so skilled and, and, and evasive knowing what he's, what he's going to do. The difference in age as well. A 31-year-old taking on a 36-year-old just shows that extra bit of speed and pace that yeah. the younger fighter has. Well, somebody that's been around the block a little more and as I say he's had a long period out of the boxing game he made his debut back in June 2003 <laughs> ducking and weaving still keeping that head moving such an elusive target to try and connect with about the final minute or so of this one as goes again. Gives Gorman another reminder of what will happen if he lets his guard down too much. I'll tell you what, more than anything, Gorman just looks tired. It's not too much physical battery, although I think he's going to have a bit of a black eye. And that left eye tomorrow, the punishment that it's taken from the right jab. It's very much been the pace that he's been struggling to deal with in this one. Last few seconds of the round. Philip Bose, Quicksilver, surely adds another victory to his card and surely stakes a bigger claim at the Southern Area title shot. Yeah, he, he's, he's definitely ready for, for a Southern Area title. You know, can't, can't fault that performance at all, you know, did, did, did everything right, didn't, didn't make no mistakes really, you know, the jab was... Well, well, was perfect, yeah, was perfect. Textbook fighting. James Gorman just kept at bay for the entire After six rounds. After six rounds, rounds of action, Reverend Cook scores the contest, 60 points to 54. Your winner, Philip Quicksilver. Oh! There you have it. Improved, improved performance from what I've done in the past, in the last two, three fights. I mean, every single time I'm fighting, I'm getting better. So I'd like to give thanks to God, Mickey Elliott, to give me this opportunity. My great team, Barry Smith and Harry Andrews. But yeah, I'm a bit tired, but yeah. <laughs> um, I believe now, obviously, after that win, you're looking to be possibly back in Southern Area title contention. You've obviously had a few shots of that already, Mickey. Yeah, for sure. Um, we'll see. I mean, K Prosper's a champion. We, we possibly, we've been offered a fight for Sierra Rosgall. For that fight, after seeing that, no doubt they'd be pulling out, I don't know. But Philip's ready to make his movement. That's the best I've ever seen in box tonight. And I'm um, not going to wait forever, you know, want to make a move. So, yeah, possibly very soon Philip Bowe's fighting for the Southern area, or maybe even above that, English or English Eliminator, something like that. Listen, you go and get your rest. Well done again tonight, and look forward to seeing you in the title contention. Thank you. Well Thank you.